Good morning children. Children in our last class that is on 8th of September what we have completed? How many hours of sleep we need? That is baby need. We need and our parents need. So now you understood how many hours of sound sleep you should sleep, a baby sleep and how many hours your parents also sleep. Then few question answers were there. Which game you like it? Name to indoor games, outdoor games and which is our national game. So these were the question and answers and how many hours of sleep we have completed in our last class. Now from page number 168 we have completed that. And from page number 169 that part I have given about the games. I have given that question and answers. Now from the page number 169 we are still on taking care of my body. That part. That is how does drinking water help in keeping our body clean. So see children we, among if you want to stay fit and healthy what we have to do we should not eat a good proportion of food. But we also drink clean and pure water. So the main question is that how does drinking water help in keeping our body clean? So that question this is from page number 169 only. So which page? Page number 169. I will write that question and answer on the board. So till that time you remove your notebook, write the heading today's day. I will write the question and answer. We will read it. Then you can pause the video and you can write the question and answer. Before that children, I write the question. What do you have to do? Today is the last day of sending your score marks. If you fail to send your, that will be thing as absent. You have not attended the test and there will be no marks. So don't remain absent. Today is the last day you have to send your score marks. So children, now open your notebook. I will write the question and answer. So what is the question? See children, I have read the board and written the question. Find out, this is from page number 169. How does drinking water help in keeping our body clean? So how does the drinking water help in keeping our body clean? See the answer. Drinking good amount. D R I N K I N G drinking good G W O D good A M O U N T amount of clean C L E A N clean and filter F I L T E R E D filter water W A T E R water help H E L P help the no no it is flow help the Help the blood flow. This is the blood. Help the blood. B L O O D blood flow. F L O W flow and remove R E M O V E remove toxins. T O X I N S toxins from F R O M from our O U R our body b o d y body put full stop water w a t e r water helps h e l p s helps in the process p r o c e double x process of digestion d i g e s t i o n digestion of food f o o d food also a l s o also so children see children what is the meaning of the answer drinking good amount of clean and filtered water so when you drink a correct amount that is 6 to 8 of glass of water that will that is clean and filtered what will do it will help the blood the blood which is present in our body it helps the blood to flow to flow means to circulate all over the body to function in the whole body and remove toxins. Remove toxins means it removes the waste from our body. And also water helps in the process of digestion of food also. So after eating a food, you have to keep a little bit.
gap, then you have to drink the water. And the water helps in the digestion of food. See, here it, it helps the blood flow. To blood to circulate in our body and remove toxins. Toxins means the waste. The waste in the form of urine. That is, you go for washroom. You use washroom. So, it also helps to remove toxins from our body. Water helps in the process of digestion of food. Now, you understood the answer? See, these answers are very lengthy. It may find difficult for you to read it. But children, you have to understand it and you have to try to perfect it. Once again, read. How does drinking water help in keeping our body clean? Answer. Drinking good amount of clean and filtered water help the blood flow and remove toxins from our body. Water helps in the process of digestion of food also. So children copy this one question in your notebook. Then we will move to the exercise which is there on page 170. So first copy this. We will complete the exercise also. Now see children, from page number 170, exercise. What is the exercise? Rearrange these words to form parts of the body. So here they have the words, here given it is jumble. Jumble words they have given, we have to rearrange it. So what is that spelling? S-D-R-U-H-O-L-E. Does it use the meaning? No. Here this is, we have to rearrange. So if we will rearrange what? Body parts we will get, I will get that is S H O U L D E R shoulder. So, which is that part of the body when we rearrange these words we get that is shoulder. Second one is C T A S M O H. So, when we will rearrange what it will be? It is stomach. S T O M A C H stomach. So when we rearrange these words, we will get stomach, the body part stomach. This is I. In the test book, they have given a straight line like this way. So don't misunderstand it. This is what I. So here I S N A K E. This is ankle. A A N K L E. So don't do mistake here, children. This is ankle. L. The letter L is given over here. So here don't put I. Many of you are what you are doing? You are making the mistake and thinking that this is as I. So it is L, small letter, ankle. So what is that? A N K L E S. Ankles. So which letter is this? Body part? It is ankle. Okay. Now come to the fourth one. N U O T G E. That is tongue. T O N G U E. Tongue. So children, once again we will read this. See. Rearrange these words to form parts of the body. The answer is shoulder. Spelling here. Jumble spelling is S D R U H O L E. And rearrange shoulder. S H O U L D E R. Shoulder. C T A S M O H. Rearrange word is stomach. S T O M A C H. Stomach. Third one is I S N A K E. Answer is Ankles, A N K L E S, angles. Fourth one is N U O T G E. And rearrange word is tongue, T O N G U E, tongue. So, children, in your next or in during examination, if remaining words is given like this way, you have to rearrange and you have to write the name of the body. So, note down your homework very neatly. 
you have to write that question and these rearrange words one time in your notebook and those who have not completed the test book complete it write one time and you have to by heart it and send your work children within time and don't forget to send your scored marks so today is the last day so children have a nice time bye